Well, thank you all for being here today and letting me be a part of this. Um, I am speaking on behalf of the Breaking Winds Bassoon Quartet, which is a chamber group that I formed in my undergrad. Um, the blue pants over there, Lauren Yu, I'm with much longer hair back then, purple pants, Yuki Katayama in the pink, and Carol Lamora is in the yellow pants. And so we're a chamber ensemble, and what that means is unlike the larger orchestra, chamber ensemble is intimate. Uh, no conductor, we're very self-governed, and we make our own decisions. And we all play bassoon, which is this lovely instrument. So, <laughs> quite big too. So, the bassoon is unique in that, unlike most wind instruments, it has a really wide range. I'm gonna so I just want to demonstrate, most wind instruments have about a two octave, maybe two and a half octave range. So. That's two, okay, that's most wind. For us, so we go pretty high, okay? So that helps us with our chamber group having the wide range. So. Like I said, we formed at Eastman, and in 2010, we put a video out, um, Lady Gaga Saga, which we'll see a little bit later, and yeah, and that actually resulted in us being on MTV. Um, we were interviewed by NPR and a number of music magazines and a lot of stuff, and kind of launched us into what we do today. So you play the oboe, right? Not quite. Um, like I said, we play bassoon, and it's four bassoons, so that's pretty unique. Um, so what is this talk about? Today I wanted to talk about creativity and meaning. So two things kind of go with that. For us on a narrow scope, being creative in classical music, um, you hear these catchphrases like, classical music is a dying art. Classical music is dying. Orchestra is dying. Well. Our mission, I guess you would say, is to make that not so. We bring lots of creative, outside of the box thinking to music and try to get people drawn back into classical music. I also encourage you all to be imaginative, think out of, outside the box. So we do this through creative control. This is that catchphrase again, that pretty much means taking the initiative to really get out of the routine and explore and do different things. And we do that through a lot of different means. Um, creative control is really important. So besides inventing modern technologies like all this crazy LED stuff that we have right now, vaccinations and whatnot, um, creative people are more satisfied. And so up here, what you see is just an article that we found, and there are a ton of studies about this. And what they did is um, a bunch of people pooled various occupations and um, to see how satisfied they were with their jobs. And what they found was that orchestral musicians are some of the least satisfied people. Hardest working, least satisfied. But they put them on par with sanitation workers. That's how unsatisfied <laughs> these people are. On the flip side, they looked at chamber musicians. So like I said, string quartets, bassoon quartets, and they were the most satisfied people. So we're all playing music, why? Why does that happen? And they found that the chamber musicians had that ability to be in an environment where they could freely create, throw ideas out, and that's what we do in quartet. And I think it's, you know, yes, music, that's what we do. But I think everyone should take that away. You need to always do that. And here's another article that we found, same type of deal. So thinking outside the box, <laughs> JS Bach, come on, y'all know that? Okay. <laughs> Seriously, y'all know Bach? It's every wedding. So anyway, um, so we think outside the box. We really try to get outside of those different bounds and draw people in. Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple ways that we do that. First is arrangements. Uh, that basically means taking a song and putting it to our own instrument. So here's an example. This is Gautier's Somebody That I Used To Know. Four bassoons playing that. 
probably bet you wouldn't hear that. Another way is new composition. So literally just doing something cool, writing our own music. And Yuki wrote this, four bassoons, eight whoopee cushions. Preschoolers love it, but so do y'all, so. Uh, fun instruments. Um, so besides bassoon, using other instruments. Lauren is playing melodica, and if you see in the background, Yuki is playing um, spoons, <laughs> and we're playing bassoon. So you know that engages people. It gets them thinking about something else. It's not like snooze factor, okay? Originality. Playing instrument in a completely different way. Two people playing one bassoon. Uh, actually pretty challenging, but that's not what you would see every day. Costumes. This is one of our more famous videos. And we all play a Disney princess song. Choreography, and here we get to the infamous Lady Gaga. So, that brings you guys into the music, right? It's not just sitting and watching an orchestra, which I think is absolutely fantastic, and I do it all the time. Did it on Wednesday at the Meyerson, and I love it. But why does creative control matter? Well, it matters because not only does it get us thinking outside the box and exploring new things, but I mean, it's vital to classical music. It's vital to all sorts of things. If we don't evolve, then, you know, it's, we're not going to be relevant anymore. So thank you all for having me. I really appreciate it. Check us out if you want to know more about the breaking winds. Thank you.